Hey, good morning everyone. This is John at Upper Cumberland Apiary, uh, back in the bee yard today. Uh, my wife and I were in here yesterday and uh, inspecting all the hives, moving some stuff around, adding some, uh, some deep boxes and some supers. Uh, this hive right here, I'm gonna go back into real quickly. Uh, we added this deep box on yesterday and uh, this super was already on. We were getting them to draw out wax, but I'm gonna go back into this box this morning uh, because I want to take a frame out of the bottom deep that is full of pollen and move it up into here, take a empty frame of comb and move it down into the bottom deep uh, just to keep that queen. She is really, uh, she's really laying a lot of eggs and uh, we want to make sure she's got enough space in that bottom deep uh, so she doesn't uh, feel like it's time to set up swarming and uh, check out of here. All right, so I have removed that uh, second deep and uh, the, the medium super that we had on top, uh, putting in some foundation, uh, hoping that they are gonna draw out this comb here. Uh, we wax dipped them, or wax coated them even more, but uh, you can see this bottom deep's got a lot of bees in it. It's covered, uh, all the frames are covered, uh, and that's why we've got that second deep on. Uh, so they've got space to move up and then the Queen excluder on top of that and a medium super on top of that with drawn foundation for them to move up into there as well. So, but one of these frames, and I don't remember which one it was, was completely full of pollen and honey. And I'm wanting to take it out of this bottom, uh, this bottom deep super and move it into the second deep. So I'm gonna take a look, find that frame, get it moved up, move an empty uh, frame of drawn comb down in here to give her a little more space, a little more empty space, and, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so as luck would have it, uh, yesterday I was thinking and I had uh, moved this frame of pollen uh, to the outside, so it was the first frame uh, that we came to. So I uh, was able to get it out. I I'm holding it uh, angled here, so I don't know how well you can see. I'm trying to get it in the sun for you, but this frame is is just completely full of pollen. We got a little bit of capped honey up in this top left corner, a little bit of capped honey up in this top right corner, a little line of nectar that they're uh, ripening, curing along the top, a small pocket of brood right there and a little tiny pocket of brood right there in the middle. But the rest of this frame, you can see especially down here on this uh, left side, is just packed with pollen bee bread um, that the bees have brought in. So I'm gonna move this frame up into the second deep, uh, like I mentioned, and get an empty frame of foundation down in this uh, bottom deep. This is one of our um, first year queens. This was a walkaway split I made last August. And uh, as, as you know, first year queens are, if they're mated well, uh, they are really good at doing their job and filling a, a hive up with eggs and brood and, and more bees. So this, she's doing uh, a great job in this hive. And, I'm excited to see what this what this hive does for us throughout the, the season here. All right, so I got everything buttoned back up with that hive. It's uh, looking really well. Uh, able to move that deep frame up into the second brood chamber uh, with all of the food stores on it and a little bit of brood that will actually encourage uh, more nurse bees to move up into that deep box as well, uh, which is kind of, in theory, what we're we're hoping uh, to to do. You know, a lot of times beekeepers, we uh, we try to put the bees, um, no pun intended, but in the box and. Uh, you know, uh, our, our intentions are to, to help them and to encourage them to do 
uh, what we want them to do, but uh, they have survived uh, for a very long time uh, with us and, and certainly without us. So uh, my goal with, with that hive and uh, the other, uh, the three other, or the two other hives that uh, we, that I made walkaway splits with last uh, fall are, uh, is for them to be uh, our honey, three of our honey producers for this year. And at the rate that those queens, those new queens are laying, I think uh, we're in good shape with those those particular hives. And so as they they move up, as they expand, um, they need space, and and that is what I'm trying to create there in that particular hive to get them to move up into that second deep brood nest and uh, and and continue to grow and expand. We're still uh, not into our nectar flow yet that'll happen here in another uh, three four weeks every although they are bringing in nectar right now and they're certainly bringing in pollen right now by the bushel basket loads uh, we still here in um, Tennessee uh, on the Cumberland Plateau are still uh, a little bit out from our from our full-blown nectar flow for the 2021 season so we've got a little bit of time still trying to do some management stuff to help encourage that so that we can have the very best season um, as possible. As always, thank you all for watching our videos. Uh, thank you for following us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we've got a YouTube page that I'm trying to, uh, to put more content on. If you would, uh, follow us on, uh, check out our YouTube page, Upper Cumberland Apiary. I am not a video making uh, genius, uh, but uh, uh, doing the best that I can so if you could get on there and, and follow our page and uh, maybe subscribe if you like what I'm putting on there that would certainly be great anyway again I hope you guys are doing uh, great today hope you're outside if the sun's shining enjoying the, the good sunny spring weather and uh, getting out and checking out your, your bees you guys have a great day take care